I am Jessica Ritter with the Davis County Animal Care and Control. My role is to enforce all the county ordinance um, to make sure people are treating and behaving well with their animals. Um, I go out on calls, you know, dogs at large, picking up strays. We make sure people are, um, you know, not neglecting their animals. Um, so that, that's my main role. Also, you know, I take care of the dogs at the shelter while I'm there. I clean um, anything where I'm needed, you know, I'm there. With the complaints I get, I, I usually try to, um, you know, sometimes put myself in, the, in their shoes. I know, you know, dogs get out, it, it does happen. Um, you, you just have to be, you know, they don't, they don't have a voice. They're, they're gonna just like children. You gotta treat them like kids. So you have to make sure that, you know, that back door is closed. You gotta make sure that fence is closed. Um, you always double check everything when it comes to dogs. That's because, like I said, they're just like kids. So you all, always double check. I brought Truffle. She is a beagle mix. Um, she was actually adopted from us and then she got returned. Um, that's because she's too active. You know, she needs, she needs that area to run. Fenced in yards are good for any dog. You know, even a Chihuahua, having a fenced in yard is good. That way they can, you know, actually be a dog and run free. Um, your, your household, you know, if you are uh, got things on the floor, you know, make sure that you don't want to set the dog up for having to come back to the shelter. So make sure anything you don't want the dog to chew on, you get put up. Um, always use outside potty breaks because when they're in the shelter and you're ad adopting one, you know, at, at the shelter, we really can't tell if they're potty trained or not. So when you bring it home, uh, the most potty breaks that you can give it will give it that, okay, I'm home and this is what I'm supposed to do, this is what I'm not supposed to do. It takes time. We can always use fosters, adopters, and volunteers. That is one thing every shelter is always going to be in need of. We, you know, will be full one day and we can, you know, have six adoptions, but as soon as those six go out, we get 20 more in. It just, it never ends. So we are just here to try to help and fix the problem, but we also need the public's help in doing their part. That way we can help these dogs, you know, get good homes.